Cheers is filmed before a live studio audience. Boy, this bachelor party should be keen. Keen? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know about Indiana, but around here when guys get together to send another guy off to his doom, things can get a little raunchy. <laughs> You fellas ever dress up farm animals in women's clothing? No. Well, then I'm one up on you. I swear to God, my very first time was in the sixth grade. School crossing guard. <laughs> oh, hey, I swear to you. Well, it was more exciting than my first time. Uh, wedding night, Norm? Uh, the following week. <laughs> Good news, guys. Boy, it says I don't have to go home till midnight. Oh, yeah, the bad news is she'll still be awake when you get there. <laughs> I don't know, women, women. You know, uh, once they get their claws in you, they just don't let go, you know what I mean? Oh, I don't know, Cliff, I wouldn't say that about all women. I'm sure Lonnie Anderson doesn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> and I know my little... Well, just today, she presented me with an opportunity to back out of the marriage, if I so desire. Now, is that blind faith or what? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh -oh. It seems to me that she might have changed her mind and just trying to let you down easy. Yeah. Well, that's the most uh, preposterous uh, thing I've ever heard. Uh, I don't know now. If you had a 200-pound marlin, you're about to haul him on the boat. Would you stop and ask him if he wanted to go back in the water? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> be careful, Dr. Crane. This could be a trick question. I think the laws are different in each state. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Is that you, Carla? Yeah, yeah, who is it? Uh, it's Frazier. What's all that noise? What's going on over there? We're making a quilt. Well, can I speak to Lilith, please? Well, is it important? She's showing the male stripper where to put his things. What? Oh, I, I gotta get back. I, I gotta bet this guy's packing socks. <laughs> She'll call you back sometime. Oh, nothing. Seems Lilith is indisposed at the moment. She's helping to undress a male stripper. <laughs> male stripper? Well, where do they put the tassels? Lilith, what were you thinking of? I'm sorry, Fraser. It's just that I felt the need to get back at you. I waited all evening for you to call and say that the wedding was still on, but you didn't, you cur. I did call. Didn't Carla tell you? She was too busy licking Bosco off Randy's chest. <laughs> I became increasingly more distraught and foolish as the night grew long. Of course, the 11 tequila shooters didn't help. <laughs> and now the epilogue is that my behavior has probably cost me the one man I truly love. Well, you could probably still catch him. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm looking for Dr. Crane. He mentioned he'd be here. Oh, I'm sorry. You just missed him. Oh, darn. I had a session earlier today and left a package in his office. When I went back, it was locked. Gee, I don't know what to tell you. But then again, I don't know what to tell most people. <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, you, you had a session with him? Are you a patient of his? That's right. Why? Oh, just curious. <laughs> not that important. I just thought if I caught him, I could still get my package back. I understand perfectly. <laughs> well, I'm out of luck, I guess. I'll just have to stop by tomorrow. I... Gotta dance. Gotta dance. Why are you doing that? With this? Oh. <laughs> I guess it's kind of an old reflex with us hoofers. Oh, you're a dancer. Well, kind of. Yeah, my, my name's uh, Sam Malone. People call me Bojangles. <laughs> Jennifer McCall. Jennifer McCall. Oof. That's a beautiful name for a beautiful girl. <clears throat> well, thank you. I have to be going. Well, at least let me uh, waltz you to the door here, all right? I know I'm not very sophisticated, but I don't think what Sam is doing is right. Now, well, look, don't you put yourself down with me, and I happen to agree with you. I mean, standing around tending bar all day is like the worst thing a dancer can do for his calves. Maybe I'm flying out tomorrow night. Yeah. Frazier's class taught me how stupid it was to be afraid of flying. Uh-huh, me too. I 
can't wait to get you alone, strip you out of that penguin outfit, and climb all over you. You sharing a room with the three little pigs? <laughs> well, they're used to huffing and puffing. <laughs> all right, see you then. Sam, you don't really think Miss Haldane thinks she shouldn't have to get a good review, do you? No, of course not. Then why do you keep teasing her? Well, I haven't ever noticed how her chest kind of heaves when she's angry. I always avert my eyes. You're kidding me. No. I'm a leg man. Attention! Attention, everyone! Now's the moment we've all been waiting for. I hope you're as excited as I am because this is probably the most exciting event I've ever been to in my entire life. Well, except for the time that our prize cow, Velveeta, gave birth to a two-headed calf. <laughs> now, I don't know how many of you have seen a two-headed calf get born, but the ones you have will bear me out. Woody, Woody. Actually, it's not as exciting as you might think. Only one of the heads could move. Woody. <laughs> well, we tried to cheer up Carla, but I don't think it worked. Yeah? How far did it get? Uh, about a half a block away, she hit Mr. Clavin with a rock. <laughs> What do, you, what do you have a little look-see? Is there a lump up there? Let's see. No? Gee, Mr. Clavin, do you pluck your eyebrows? <laughs> 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 